Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm here in the greenhouse without my hat for a change, which is marvellous. Look at all that clean space behind me. And I'm here with my trusty handbooks because it is now the middle of February and we can get cracking with some more sewing. So if you've been following along since the autumn jump starter, you'll know that we've already sown most of our hardy annual plants to grow throughout the winter. And many of them are now outside hardening off, ready for planting. However, if you're just finding us now, or if there's one or two uh, seed varieties that you'd just like a few more plants of, you can sow those now until the end of the month. I wouldn't bother sowing them any later than the end of the month because the temperatures will start to rise and the light levels will trigger some of them into blooming before they get very tall. So they'll never be as tall as the autumn jump started. That's the reason why we sowed them then. And please don't sow any biennials now. It is too late for biennials to go through this winter to trigger flower formation. If you sow them now, they will germinate, take up loads of room, but they'll just grow into massive plants and then they won't flower until next spring. So you don't really wanna be wasting the space sowing those just at the moment. I thought I'd take a video of the malope just basking in the evening sunlight. So hopefully yours is looking exactly the same from the grow along. And if you're new to us, this is what you wanna put on your list for the autumn jump starter seed shop. And then I'll show you how to sow and grow it. Now we've still got some seeds to sow from the autumn jump starter. We have got the melope. Now melope does not like to have a wet cold bottom or winter. So we've saved sowing that until now. And then we've also got the scabious. Now scabious doesn't mind an autumn jump start and will happily grow in the greenhouse all winter. However, it just grows much, much too fast. So the plants need going out in the garden before the weather is suitable for them. And then finally, the stocks. Again, they are incredibly fast from seed. And if you leave them in their seed trays too long, you can cause a problem with flowering later. The blooms will be stunted if they get root bound. So the last thing you want to do is start them too early before you're able to put them outside. And we've also got to bear in mind with the spring grow along that we don't want to start everything. It's not a starting gun. We don't want to start everything straight away and then have nowhere for them to go because your beds are still full of hardy annuals. And also, we don't want all of our flowers to bloom at once. We wanna make sure that we've got a steady stream of fresh flowers coming at us all the way until the frosts. If you're feeling confident and you don't wanna wait for me, if you go to your Spring Grow Along handbook, you can see I've improved the sowing date windows for you. And I've also put the temperatures of what the seeds need to germinate at to make it easier. So if something's not germinating, you're thinking, hang on a minute, it's in a cold greenhouse, 18 degrees, that will be the reason why. Further back in the handbook is a whole sheet on each individual seed variety. So you've got all the details there. So if you're feeling confident, you can just use the handbook as your guide and go ahead and get sewing. However, if you would prefer, I will be sewing every single one of these seeds myself. So if you want to sow with me, then you can check your plant's progress against mine. We can deal with any adverse weather conditions together. I will stream the stories as I sow the seeds. So if it's not convenient for you, that's fine. You can just catch up at the weekend. As I say, this isn't the set date. This is a window. We're at the beginning of the window. So if you're working during the week, you can watch my stories on the sofa of an evening, ready to know what you're going to be doing at the weekend. And then the stories will be there, ready for you to replay again. And then you can catch up. It'll only be a few days difference. And it's probably helpful if I'm a couple of days ahead of you anyway.